Hey there, it's your boy Foxy, back for more relationship stories. I think my girlfriend has been trying to get me fired from all my jobs. I'm shaken, please help me. Original post. I'm male 24 and I've been with girlfriend, female 29, let's call her Janice, for two and a half years. I just finished my education when we started dating and I have been doing all sorts of jobs since. Sometimes two at a time. I did this to expand my resume and gather job experience. I worked in cafes, bookstores, a library, a grocery store, and as an English tutor. Most of those jobs lasted about three to five months. My shortest day was two and a half weeks, my longest eight months. But since I didn't have a hard time applying for new positions, I tried to block it out, though it was kind of eating me up internally. People called to complain about me. People left bad reviews about me. People used my employee Wi-Fi access to look up sketchy things on the internet under my name. Former employees called to inform them about me, right name and all. And much much more subtle stuff that I couldn't disprove. But I was too anxious to do anything about it. I just told my girlfriend, and she comforted me, supported me every time I got my life ruined by these people. But I kept going, though they kept finding me. Fast forward to this week. I currently hold a part-time position at a bakery. I've been working there for two months and a half. It's going okay, but then my manager approached me about something regarding our Google reviews. Someone was complaining about an employee, and their description of them could only really fit me. It was on a day where we're pretty short of staff, so I could have been the only person in the store on that day for all I know. Anyway, their review contained some pretty elaborate and nasty comments about me. This has happened on one or two of my jobs already. I told my manager that it was all pretty bogus and that someone had a vendetta against me as it has happened before. She believed me and told me that she'll dismiss the comment. On my break, I checked out the review myself. Their username was kinda stupid, I'm not gonna type it out here since I still work there, but I'll just call them Mick Myrtle as it was in the same range of sounds kinda fake but not really. Anyway, I come home but don't tell Janice about it. She has heard it all before so I didn't see the point in complaining about another time I almost lost my position. We chat, all is well, and she leaves the room. Her phone is on the table, and suddenly, she gets a notification or an email of some sort from Google. I don't remember what it said exactly, but the pop-up reads something along the lines of, Mick Myrtle, manager has responded to your review. My heart dropped. I've been trying to ignore it since, and this was two days ago. It just fit in the picture of bad reviews. It fit in the picture of the phone complaints my workplaces have received about me in the past. It fits in the picture of all the sketchy things I've been fired for. Why would she do that though? I'm looking for an explanation. This literally can't be. She's the only thing keeping me sane. I don't know what to do. Now for the top advice before reading the update. Please for the love of God do not stay with that woman. She is sick. Who does that to someone they love? Someone insecure and twisted enough to try to destroy their partner's self-esteem to make the partner dependent on them. These were my thoughts. OP your girlfriend wants you to depend on her so she can control you and your life. Please leave immediately and gather all the written evidence or so against her. She may even try to get to you after you leave, so it's going to save you some trouble while convincing people of her craziness. Honestly, I dumped my ex-girlfriend because she was awful towards me and she kind of did the same thing and she literally mistreated me, offended my family, etc. I broke up with her. She still hasn't given up and I'm getting stalked and have received threats and most of them have been on the phone. One day I received an email that my email was spoofed and she used some app. The app sent me a notification on my email that someone has used my emails to send fake emails using my email address and told the real sender's email address and it was my ex-girlfriend. What I would recommend is to find a way to make her dump you. Otherwise, it won't get any better. This is extreme manipulation and abuse. I feel sick to my stomach thinking about you having gone through this for years, losing job after job, and being devastated and confused. The worst is you confiding in her and her knowing exactly what she did to you. I really don't understand how anyone can do this to someone they love. Please OP, for your sake, you need to leave this relationship. I read all the other posts and would advise you to. Get evidence against her so you can sue her at an appropriate time for loss of income, defamation, and so on. Inform your manager about this. When they get complaints by phone, have them record the conversation, take down the time and phone number, etc. Install monitoring software on your laptop to secretly log who uses your laptop, webcam, and what they do or post. Get legal advice and tell them that the abusive behavior is still ongoing and you are in the process of getting evidence. Buy a second phone and store it outside the house. Use this for contact with legal advice, private investigation, and any communication you don't want her to know. 
When you have enough evidence, change your passwords and tell her you have been hacked, so you decided to change your passwords and tell her to do the same. It depends on you what to eventually do. If you have enough evidence, you can either sue or confront and go to therapy together. Please listen to this person. Don't feel guilty about it either. What she has been doing is illegal and you deserve to get compensated. If you don't do this, she gets away scot-free. That means she won't be punished and she will continue to do this to the next guy. She is a Karen and she should actually go to jail for this. Please don't let her get away with this. And now for the update. Hello people who are still invested. I'm sorry for not updating you guys earlier, a lot has been going on. First of all, yes, we broke up. That's why I'll be referring to her as my ex from now on. Anyway, let's start from the beginning. On the Monday of the following week, I couldn't take the uncertainty anymore. I told my ex I needed her booking account to book a train ticket to visit my dad for a few days. She complied, and when she was in the shower getting ready for work, I booked my ticket and started looking through her emails. After some digging, I found an email to herself which contained a spreadsheet file. I sent the file to myself, printed it out, and took a screenshot. Why? The spreadsheet contained about every single information about me that there was. Numbers, emails, passwords, work times, colleagues, their numbers and social medias, as well as some emails and passwords that she used for accounts to ruin my life with. Everything was on there, conveniently sorted for her to ruin my life as efficiently as possible. When she left for work, I decided it would be best to immediately pack my stuff. Nothing that mattered would be left behind. I felt like a wanted man, like I was being hunted despite nothing being seemingly out of place. I called my boss, told her I would be taking some time off from work, and headed out to see my dad. Needless to say, he was the sanity I needed. I cried about everything I saw, I panicked for a whole two days straight, about how my life was ruined, and I didn't know what to do. He had to sleep on the couch in the guest room because I was so scared of my ex coming in. He handled it like a champ, I love you dad. He called the police, a lawyer, and most recently a therapist for me, because I was in the most horrible state of my entire life. We're currently sorting out the legal stuff. I haven't talked to my ex, except for letting her know it was over and that she's a sick psychopath. My dad handled the rest. I changed all my passwords and I'm now looking for a place to live. Bro, that's so nuts. Why are people so goddamn twisted? I am just glad you are safe. Thank God for good family. Now you can pursue the success you are entitled to through your hard work. Curious, did Ms. Psycho have any sort of excuse or explanation for her diabolical behavior? She did, but I have yet to check the abundance of messages she left for me. I don't know if I ever will. That is totally understandable. I imagine it's a bunch of delusional self-serving horse manure. She needs help, like professional help. I don't think she needs help. I think she needs to be placed in the nuthouse for the rest of her life. What the heck was she thinking? What was her explanation? I need closure here. I can see two scenarios, though I'm sure there are more. 1. She wants OP to be isolated and dependent on her. The age difference isn't huge, but it's a little unusual, and I could see that playing into it. 2. She's trying, in a completely delusional way, to help OP. These are all minimum wage, entry jobs, and maybe she thinks if he keep getting fired, he'll try for something more suitable, as in better paying, higher status. I dunno. Either way, this is highly screwed. Standard abuse. We just don't normally hear it from a man who's been mistreated by a woman. Happens all the time, it just doesn't get talked about as much. What a sick woman. I hope she rots. No, anyone needing an Excel sheet for something like this is about 5 degrees above standard and working at psychopath levels. Very correct move to just take his stuff and leave. I'm all about communication regarding relationship problems, but I'm thinking a confrontation here could have gone very wrong. Yes, you confront about a wrong when you don't think that your safety is at stake, but this woman was creeping into Annie Wilkes' territory. Don't confront someone if your safety is at stake. But also, in general, don't confront someone if they've done something heinous and there's nothing to be gained from it. And there wasn't. There was nothing she could say that would have made it okay. Nothing that could make it forgivable. Nothing that would have given OP catharsis and closure. And nothing she would learn from it to grow as a person. Sometimes you just have to know when there's no point in the conversation and it's better to leave a note and cut and run. Now for the last story. Update, I disown my son. Original post. Not even sorry about it, and I don't need advice on him or his situation, but the complete fallout that has happened with the family. I will try to be as clear on everything as possible. I 42 female, have a son 22 male, and he has a girlfriend 21 female. I wasn't super close with her as we didn't have a lot in common, 
but I liked her as a person and welcomed her into the family. They had been together for just over a year. Over the past six-ish months, I had noticed a change in her behavior. Her and my son usually came over at least every two weeks for a family dinner. I knew they were having some money problems and financial stress, so I chalked it up to that. They came over last Christmas for dinner, along with about seven other close family. She was quiet the whole dinner. Afterwards, I was catching up on some dishes and cleanup, prepping desserts, and she joined me in the kitchen and asked if I needed help. I gladly let her come in to help me with the pies. She seemed skittish, so I asked her if she was okay. She looked at me like a deer in headlights and then started crying. I thought it was about money. When finances are tight, the holidays can be hard. I pulled her in for a hug and told her if they needed help, they just had to ask and asked her if there was anything I can do. After a few minutes of sobbing, she was able to stop and she just blurted it all out. My son was mistreating her. She showed me the bruises on her arm from him grabbing her, told me how she couldn't talk to her family without him present, told me about how he controlled all of her money and had her move in with him and made him the main holder on her bank account. She cried and said he wouldn't even let her buy tampons and told her rolled up toilet paper was enough. There was so much more to it. I stood there in shock as she told me all of this and more. Finally, she stopped and took a deep breath. I don't know how to get out. I'm scared. I wanted to kick him out of my house then and there, but having been mistreated by my son's dad, I knew that would make things worse for her. I told her, go out there and act normal. Don't say anything. Keep your head down and do what he says. I told her I'd get her out as safely and soon as possible. It took a few days, but we did just that. She is staying with me while we get everything, like her bank account, which he has almost emptied, and living situation sorted. I also told my son he is no longer welcome in my home, and he is no longer my son. Maybe it was an extreme reaction, but I'm not asking if I'm wrong here. I would do what I did over and over again. The issue is, what little family I do have, on my son and on my son's dad's side, are outraged that I'd choose her over him. Damn right I did, and I'll do it again. How on earth can I get these people to see my son for who he is and be able to repair and maintain relationships with my family without allowing my son in my life again? Now for the top advice before reading the update. Tell them if they keep it up, you'll help her get your son charged and a criminal record too. This obviously was a learned behavior from his dad. I wouldn't expect his dad or that side of the family to stand up for her. I have asked her if she wanted to go to the police and she has been hesitant. The bank told us that there is a way to get some of her savings back that he took, but it requires police action and criminal charges and all that. She is still sitting on that decision. Hey, I'm not for a minute gonna push judgment on you one bit. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for saving this poor girl. It might feel like you failed as a parent possibly, but honestly sometimes apples spoil. When I told my mother I was being mistreated by my ex, she only asked me, what did you do to anger him? You should behave better and he will stop. I have no words to express my gratitude for you stepping up to the plate and fighting for her like this. So thank you for listening to her and believing her. It means more than you will ever know. We cannot save everybody, even our own children, but we can do what is right, which is what you did. To hell with everyone else who doesn't understand that. How you were treated was similar to how I was treated when I was mistreated as an adult. He was very good at gaslighting and triggering reactive abuse, making me out like the bad guy. I'm huge on breaking the cycle and every parenting decision I made took breaking the cycle into account. Now for the update. My last post blew up which I wasn't expecting. They got locked fairly quickly because of karma and comment limit and I got a lot of supportive messages from people. As long as the mods allow this post, I thought I'd do an update. It has been just over two weeks at this point and she is doing well, as well as anyone in her situation. She has been slow to take care of things. Some days all she can do is lay in bed. I know how she feels, so I indulge her in that regard and try to support her to take care of at least one thing a day. I have her making a daily to-do list and put on it even the simplest of things like update resume and take a shower because crossing something off a list can feel fulfilling. Her ex, my son, showed up at her work. Her work was not very understanding of her situation and she went home early that day and then put in her letter of resignation. She is college educated and has been working on finding another job and dabbling in the idea of going back to school for another degree. She is still living with me, that likely is already obvious from what I have said so far. I told her she is welcome to stay with me as long as she needs. I was once a struggling single mom, but once I got my masters, things were better financially. I know what it is like to struggle and barely get by. I don't want that for my kids and they are always welcome to stay with me rent free. When she is ready, I told her I would help her in finding a place of her own. 
She did end up filing a police report, simply to have the paperwork to be able to get her bank account fixed, and possibly some of the money returned that he drained. This isn't guaranteed and can take a long time, possibly have to go to civil court for it. As I knew it would be, the report was frustrating. Like they always do, the police basically told her or us that there wasn't anything they can do about it at the moment, and that there has to be a pattern of behavior to prove that she needs a personal protection order. Tomorrow we go to the court to file paperwork for a restraining order as long as they accept it. As for his family and mine that were bashing me for being a bad mom and abandoning my son, they got a reality check. My son snapped at one point and went on social media, completely verbally bashing me and her. Some of the things he said, it was horrible. He was calling me the C word and her names one calls a lady of the night. Talking about how he knows better than a woman does and what is good for her, that she is a spoiled brat who needed to be put in her place, and violent threats. Made a bunch of people start to see that side of him. The posts were screenshotted and printed to add to the stack against him. So, there we go. Thank you everyone for the support. We are still fighting this uphill battle, but we are gonna win the war. Edit to add, so like the last post, this is getting brought up again. No, my son did not witness me getting mistreated. I left his father when he was a couple of months old, and his father was not physically harming me. I don't need people to work on his sad villain backstory to rationalize his behavior. He had a good upbringing, with lots of support and love. Not every perpetrator was a victim. You rock. You are one amazing human being. I'm glad his true colors started to show so the others would understand better. I hope he has a harsh reality check and figured out he needs to resume therapy or he is going to end up in prison. My sister was horrible to me and I had to save myself. I wish I'd had someone like you to help me navigate things. I'm sorry you had your own personal experience with this. And all we can do after stuff like that is come out stronger and smarter, huh? I can't imagine how hard it would be to disown a child. But after his actions, he deserves every bit of karma coming for him. Sending hugs and peace to you both. Obviously this is all a new situation, but I don't see having a relationship with him ever down the road. Perhaps if he got lots of therapy and an evaluation to treat whatever the heck is wrong with him and prove that he 100% changed his ways, maybe. But until then, low priority. He is very upset that I'm no longer paying his student loans, which I think was the trigger for his social media outburst. Doing the right thing is very hard. I appreciate you standing your ground and supporting her through it all. I can't imagine how traumatic it would be if circumstances led to her being tossed out of the house with nowhere to go and nobody to turn to. Your last sentence is exactly what happens in many cases of DV and so often why victims return to the relationship. So much more if there is financial abuse. 